Iwawa Island sits in the middle of Lake Kivu in Rwanda. It is an isolated, rugged place where, for the past few months, more than 800 men and boys, some as young as 14, have been living. They are vagrants, drunks, petty thieves, homeless people, and street kids who have been sent here without a trial for minor crimes like not having an ID. Rwandan police officers call the island a rehabilitation center, and they call the people here social deviants. They will spend up to three years on the island learning skills like brick lane and motorcycle maintenance. We are trying to give skills, knowledge to these kids who have been formerly on the streets, uh, detached from their homes. Now they are here uh, to uh, gain skills in various fields such that they could go home when they are uh, ready to be employed. During a recent visit by a boatload of government officials, the people here performed acrobatic feats and sang songs. But in whispered asides, the residents call Iwawa Island a prison camp. The conditions here are extremely crude, with hundreds of men sleeping mattress to mattress, with no malaria nets and no lights at night. Because of its isolation, the island, like Alcatraz, is nearly impossible to escape from. Many of these people have complained that they don't have enough food, that there's nothing to do here, that they're not able to contact their relatives. And we've even met some children as young as 14 who said they asked to speak to their parents and the authorities refused. Critics say this island is an extreme example of the lengths that Rwandan President Paul Kagame will go to to keep order and squash dissent. Rwandan officers simply say they want to stop crime before it starts. Ours is very minimal and we are trying to arrest it before it becomes big. Packs of street kids are indeed a problem in many African cities. But not here. It's very hard finding any homeless people on the streets of Rwanda. And as we've seen, that's no accident. For the New York Times, this is Jeffrey Gettleman. Mas já